have a new deal to stay at the Bombers till the end of 2017. It must be pretty exciting for you. Yeah, very exciting. It was uh, something that probably came around in the last month or two working uh, with my manager and that. And it's, yeah, it's very exciting at this time of year to be signing on for another two years, so three years from now. Just give it up on him. I reckon he'll take truck on. Look, he says you're a big man, I'm a small man. That is unbelievable. Collier kicks an unbelievable goal. It was a big 2014 for you, sort of almost a breakthrough year in your career in a sense. Is that part of um, where you head from here? You sort of build off that? Yeah, definitely. I worked pretty hard throughout the pre-season leading into 2014 and then the, the first half in the VFL and the second half was obviously able to, to crack through and have sort of the best um, the form I've had in the AFL team. So I can, can build off that and the confidence that I did take out of that, um, move that into this pre-season and uh, hopefully upward um, from there and you know can have a really good season. Something that really improved last year was your kicking efficiency. Uh, how hard had you worked on that to, to get it to the level that it seems to now be at? Yeah, I, th I think uh, it was something that it was definitely what I wanted to improve on um, and I think it also it helped just playing consistent games at the level and you can get a bit more a bit more confidence a bit more comfortable to um, deep taking certain kicks so it was something that I, I definitely did improve and um, felt with a bit of hard work and just getting easier kicks out on the ground um, definitely helped help me uh, play better footy. Nathan Bassett came on as part of the coaching staff last year and you worked, you worked pretty closely with him. What's your relationship like there? Yeah, very good. Bass um, sort of simplified things for me, which I tend to overthink at times. And um, I was able just to two or three, get two or three points and, and, you know, whether it was throughout a game or in training and just sort of come back to them and, and really focus on that. So um, simplifying it and just allowing me to pray, play freely um, was something that helped. Um, yeah. Just to sign a new deal before the season starts is obviously... Um, you have a lot of faith in where the club's sort of heading. Can you take us through that and, and where you think the club could be in the next three years? Yeah, for me, it's something I hadn't done before. I'd always signed sort of at the end of the year, and um, I think it's a really good sign for um, the footy club that, you know, I think from the 2012 uh, year, everyone's signed up now. Um, and with the guys that they've got in over the last two or three years, um, it's a really exciting time to be at the footy club. Um, and I think it's only uh, upward ahead of us. Um, we obviously want to improve on what we did last year, making that elimination final, and um, was something that you know a lot of, not a lot of guys had played in the final before. Um, and I think it's really exciting that we can move ahead of that uh, this year. You got a fair few games last year as a forward. Do you sort of look at that role as where you'll stay, or do you want to push in the midfield as well? I think yeah. I think these these days though, you got to play a variety of roles. So um, whether it's down forward or up, I'd love to go up a bit more through the wings and, and maybe inside. Uh, the midfield at times and um, and that's something as, as a team that we are doing having a guys play a variety of roles um, on the ground and keep the opposition guessing as to who's playing where. Trav thanks for your time and good luck. No worries thank you.